The experiences of boy children are simple to overlook. His African literature implies that the rights of a boy child have been neglected in favor of an unequal emphasis on the girl's child's rights. Even if the gender imbalance favors one gender over the other, it may not achieve the desired level of gender equality. Now, equal attention must be paid to boys in order for gender relations to truly change. Good evening. My name is Tabo Malokwani. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Tonight, we are joined by Mpumele Lobutelezi, who is the founder of the Boys Mentorship South Africa Foundation, as well as Tato Mba, otherwise known as Titi Mba, who is the founder of the Amataima Wellness Network. Gentlemen, thanks very much for taking the time. Good evening. Welcome to the show. Evening, my brother. Evening, Tibos. Much appreciated. Titi, I want to start with you. You know, um, maybe in your own context or rather in the context of manhood, how do you define wellness? Sure. How do I define wellness? I think um, wellness is the ability to look after yourself, take care of yourself. And it, 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 it's so wide. I mean, there's, there's physical wellness, which has a lot to do with, you know, what you do with your body. Do you exercise enough? Whatever you eat in terms of nutrition around your body. Then, then you have mental wellness, which has a lot to do with your mindset, um, depression, anxiety, and all those things. And then you have financial wellness, which mm -hmm. obviously has a lot to do with money. And those are the key wellness uh, drivers or pillars that we actually focus on as the Amatama Wellness Network. Mm. Before we get into you know, the work that you do as an organization, Mpumalel, I want to bring you into this conversation, maybe just to mm. you know, tell us about your organization, the Boys Mentorship South Africa, the work that you guys do. Boys Mentorship South Africa, it's um, an organization that was established 2012. Um, we are mentoring young men just to groom them to become uh, the men that we need in the society. We know which most of young boys, they grow up without a father figure in their lives. So nobody is showing them the way, what should be, the way should they, the way should they take and how to become a man. So we come to the space just to help them to say, these are the things that when you talk about a man, because young men, they will be fathers in tomorrow. So if they are not groomed today, what kind of fathers are they going to have? Mm. So that we're coming to that space just to make sure what we've got the fathers we need in the future. Mm. Mm. Titi, Amatima Wellness um, uh, Network, you know, your organization, I, mean, I recently saw that you, you guys hosted an event uh, there. I just wanted to talk about the organization itself. You highlighted financial wellness, you know, mental wellness, all these kind of things. Maybe just give us a sense of the work that you do as an organization, and also some of um, your objectives as, 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 as a <clears throat> network. So, so Tabo, uh, Amatama Wellness Network really focuses on the three uh, pillars of wellness, like I said earlier, on physical wellness, yeah. where we really talk to men about their physical wellness. Do they look after themselves? Do they exercise regularly? Because there's this misconception that you need to have money to go to gym. You don't actually need to even go to gym. You can take a walk, you can hike. There's a lot of things you can do physically to keep yourself um, healthy. You know, we believe in the in the concept of filling your own cup first as a, as a human being before you can even do that as a father. Then we get into uh, mental wellness, where we talk about depression and suicide and, and anxiety amongst men. Um, we also talk about financial wellness. We talk about money. We have those very uncomfortable conversations about about money because men are not comfortable to talk about money. It, 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 it has a lot to do with ego. So as a movement, we really focus on the interest of single, married, uh, widowed, and, and divorced men. But our key drivers as a movement, we focus on the relationship between fathers and sons. With that, we've got a, an, a program called Like Tama Like Ndwana, which is a TV show um, that I actually co-host with my dad. And it's really designed to improve relationships between fathers and sons, uncles and nephews, grandfathers and, grand, and grandsons. It's really an, embedded in this whole concept that what about the boy child? No one actually focuses on the boy child. Um, and we, we run the risk of, of having the potential perpetrator um, in our society and hence GBV. The second pillar is the relationship between fathers and daughters. And that's where we actually have an Amatama pad drive, which is really focused on educating men about menstruation. Mm, very interesting. Um, you know, I, I mean, to both of you, uh, but this question is more of, uh, you know, looking at, obviously, you have explained um, the reasons for starting uh, organizations such as 
yourself? I mean, recently we did an interview speaking to a lot of experts within, you know, the issues of mental health and stuff. And then they've highlighted a very important thing, saying that men bottle things up. Um, you know, as you said, it might be the issue of ego sometimes, or just the society <clears throat> itself. But um, why was it necessary for organizations such as yourselves to exist? Mm. No, to me, it, it's, it's based on myself. Initially, I'm correcting the mistake that I've made. Mm. So, you know, when you're growing up, there's nobody in front of you that's showing you the way. So there are many mistakes that I have made that if there was somebody that would direct me, I could have avoided them. So I end up being on drugs, end up living on the street before God gave me the second chance to bounce back in life. So when I came out of the street 2007, 2009, I started a, a, a campaign the drug awareness campaign to say if you are involved in drugs, this is the way that maybe you may end up. So from the that campaign, the boys mentorship program was born because now we've got many young men that are coming before us and they said, okay, how can you help us? And then when we working with them, so we, we needed to create a program. So it's okay, a, one, <coughs> a once off thing does not help. But if they involve in the program, let's say for a year, we know what to teach them, how to make the right de decisions, how do they take their choices. So all those kind of things, we've been running it up until now. We see moving from one city to another, implementing the program, because basically we know what pushes boys to drugs. We know what pushes boys to the street, because we've been there. Mm. Mm. Um, Titi, um, you know, after the ad break, I want to start with you, you know, looking at the necessity of an organization such as yourself. I mean, there's quite a lot of organizations in the country. By why specifically, what was your motivation to start um, such an organization? We're gonna pick it up just after the ad break. Let's uh, take a breather, we're coming back after this. Welcome back, you're still watching Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. We are still in conversation about the importance of grooming of a boy child as well as addressing the wellness of men in society that seems to be solely concentrating on the well-being of women and girls. We're still joined in studio by Mpumela Lobotelezu, who is the founder of the Boys Mentorship Organization, as well as Titi Mba, the founder of Amatama Wellness Network. And they're still joining us here in studio. Thanks very much for staying on, um, gentlemen. Um, Titi, let's pick it up from yeah. you know where we left it. Um, your inspiration for starting an organization like this, there's thousands of organizations in the country. What was your inspiration? So you can't correct in stating that there's quite a lot of other organizations that are doing what we are doing, which is great. That's what we want. We want to create <coughs> so many of these different pillars for men to be able to have a safe space. So I started um, Amatama Wellness Network during lockdown and I realized that there's a lot of conversations that I'm having with different men about different issues that are affecting us. You know, here we are locked down in our homes. Um, there's no source of income coming in, yet the expenses are piling up and yeah. the pressure is on the man, unfortunately. Um, he is expected to uh, indotamas just, you know, there's yeah. a whole concept to indotamas yeah. just, indotamas and cry, indotamas never show weakness. And unfortunately, that actually sets a lot of pressure for men, and hence why we have such a high case of suicides when it comes to, to men. They go through depression, they go through anxiety, they never have a safe platform to be able to, you know, release all of that tension. And as a result of that, that's how, that's how we end up having cases of GV, GBV, because men are bottling a lot of things up. So we've been fortunate enough to start a Telegram group. Uh, it's a safe space. There's about a thousand two men in that group. Men from all walks of life, from your gardener to your CEO to your blue collar mm -hmm. worker is in that group because they're not there as, uh, in, in, with their titles. They are there as men who are seeking help from other men. And what we found is that men are more receptive when there's other men in the space and they realize that there's other men who are going through even bigger problems and challenges than, than, than themselves. So it's really helping. Tina, we prefer Utamato to Akonuk Bosla amongst themselves. Mm. Bumelelo, let me bring you to this one. I mean, the problems, you know, that, um, how do I put it? What kind of problems, particularly, you know, does the lack of attention and grooming of a boy child cause? It's neglected. Boys are neglected. And if you take to one, a boy does not know his father. 
Secondly, there is no program for him in the society. Thirdly, many things that are happening, this okay, they say it's for a girl child. This boy just come on earth, does not do anything. So boys are paying the sins of their fathers to say men we already have that, that life that they have before. But now we need to focus on the boy, on the girl child. So focusing on the girl child is not wrong, it's good, but it should be a balance. Focus on, on this young man, because now if they feel neglected and nobody's taking care of them, and one, they've got issues that are buckling up, as my brother is saying. So one, in that the boy does not, does not have a platform where he can speak to say, this is how I feel. Because one of the other things that we normally talk with the boys, how do you feel if you don't never, you never have never met your father? So all those challenges that they face, nobody is there for them. So we create these platforms we call Ringam Chita. So we we sit down every weekend with the boys in different parts of Tembi. So that's where we create those platforms. We say, okay, we are there for you. If you have a problem, just call and then oh, I will come to you. Or you come to the space where we sit down with them and then they come up with say, okay, they are the solution that we think it can work for me as a person or as individual. So these things, they affect not boys emotionally only, psychologically. They even, most of them, they cannot even perform well at school mm. because the challenge is at home, in the society, and even in the school. And the absent of a, a male figure in their life, even if he's not the, the biological father, somebody that will be there for them to say, I am here for you. If you've got a problem, come and speak to me. You know, this one is directed to both of you. Um, mm. You know, the, what kind of um, young man is uh, like the nation, South Africa, raising currently? I mean, we're seeing a lot of issues. You did highlight the issue of GBV now. Mm. Um, you know, there's a lot of incidences that are happening at various, you know, uh, secondary schools and stuff. Do you think that, um, you know, looking at the rates, you know, when you look at crime stats, you look at murders have gone up and then you look at the perpetrators, men, you look at uh, the issue of GBVs, most of the victims, yes, they are staying uh, with um, the perpetrators and stuff and enhance people sometimes, you know, experts are saying that they don't come out and stuff mm -hmm. because of, uh, maybe because of the, you know, the relationship that they've been having and stuff. But what kind of a society are we raising currently? You know, maybe let me start with you, Titi. Um, we, are, we are currently raising a society of broken men. Men are broken. Men are going through a lot. And uh, unfortunately, if we don't address such issues, we are, it, it mm. can only get worse. Crime is at its highest because these young boys don't have a point of reference when it comes to role models. We haven't created a template enough that makes um, these young boys look forward to becoming a something out of out of out of their lives, making something out of their lives. So, with the Amatama movement, we're actually encouraging that that with with the um, like Tama like Ndwana show because we really want to go deeper into relationships between fathers and sons, and uncles and 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 nephews specifically because not everyone was raised by by their father. Some of us were raised by our uncles, and the word Amatama actually is not limited to biology, by the way. O teacher is a time. Mm. O bishop can be a time. It's that point of reference because as a boy you grow up looking up to a man, whether it's a soccer star, whether it's it's a basketball star, whether it's a politician, it doesn't matter. There has to be a point of reference. But unfortunately, at this moment, we are raising a society of broken men who are breaking the nation through their brokenness. Mm. Um, maybe you want to weigh in on that. Also, looking at the issue of the environment itself, we are raising lions. I may just put it that way because take for instance. There were there are supposed to be four areas where men have been trained. It home, church, um, society, and sports. So home has failed, church has failed, society has failed. Now men, they are flocking into sport, and sport does not have programs to groom them to become the man that is needed. So now a boy has got talent and now is broken or is angry all those things that are happening to him is drive him to not to become a better man. As my brother said, okay, there is no template to say, I want to become like this. If I want to define, define a man as a poet, okay, what is a man? What should I become? 
Who mm. should I example to say, I see my brother, unje, 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 now I want to be like him. So they don't have a point of reference. So lacking the point of reference, it gives them a problem to say, they don't know what exactly who should they become. So coming on, on, on this platform, having my we follow them, we saw them, okay, these are the programs that we watch with the boys, okay, you so all those things, they are helping to have a organization and a time. He may not know, we follow him, we, we watch his show with the boys. So I think would, if every man can stand up and say, I take one boy mm. to make sure to say, even if it's not my, my child, but I have to contribute to him because we need someone who will hold them with their hands to say, this is the way to go. I want us to park it there. Just after the ad break, we will look at uh, solutions, what needs to be done. Let's take a quick breather. We're coming back after this. Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. We are almost at the end of the show as we talk about grooming of a boy child, as well as the state of the overall wellness of men in our country with um, Pumelelo Butelezi, the founder of the Boys uh, Mentorship Organization, as well as Titi Mba, who is the founder of Amataima Wellness Network. Gentlemen, uh, you know, I want us to wrap up the conversation by just looking at um, solutions. Uh, but before we, you know, we get into that, I want us to talk about how seriously men take uh, the issue of mental health. Uh, you know, there's quite a lot of uh, practitioners that are saying that men never come up to seek assistance. Maybe we would speak amongst ourselves, but how important is, you know, men taking the mental health serious? Let me start with you. So I grew up in an era where I was told that sitting in front of a stranger and telling them your problems is a no-no. Why would I want to go and sit with a psychologist or psychiatrist who's sitting there and writing notes about my life? You know, it, it, it's, it's unnatural. And that's what we were raised to believe that you must fend for yourself as in daughter. In daughter must never show weakness because yeah. the society expects you to stand up and be firm. But they forget that you are a human being first before you are a man. You are a human and you have emotions and you do cry and you should cry and you should release whatever stress you're going through, whatever tensions you're experiencing because the more you bottle things up, one day, one, that just that one day could be the day that you actually become a GBV participant and it's as a result of not allowing men to talk. So what we've done is the Amatama Wellness Network, we've partnered, we've partnered with Panda Mental Health, which is a mental health app, it's available um, and there are consultants and professionals that are there to talk to the men about anything and everything. And we're seeing that in the Telegram group, a lot of men are starting to speak up about their, their issues. They have a lot of issues around uh, access to their kids. They have a lot of issues around money. Um, they have a lot of issues around employment or unemployment for that yeah. matter because that affects their financial well-being. And I think the more you get, we get men to talk about their issues, the more we can actually get to grappling the issue and dealing with it together as men. That's the only way. The more we get to talk Namachita and the boys and show the boys that it's okay to cry. Show the boys that it's okay to show weakness in as much as it's okay to show strength as a human being. Then we're building a, a balanced society of men. I think my brother, it, it all depends on the love. We don't love men as a society. You cannot say you stoned me yesterday, you expect me to speak today. So the approach, I think if you can change the approach to show men to love them, to have sympathy to them, because you cannot say men should speak, but on social media you are grilling men, and every, so every corner you are grilling men, and you are expecting men to speak. So if as a society we can love each other, I think what is missing is love. So if you can love each other and show me to say, I love you, my brother, and I need, you to, I need to help you, then I'll be able to be open up to you. So Amatama, the work that they've achieved, they show love to the, to the men to say, here is the space, we love you. So I think as a society, we need to love men. And by loving men, I mean, we need to love ourselves. Yeah. Mm. You, you know, just to, you know, in the interest of time, I, I want to look at the solutions now. How do we help that boy child? 
So how do we help that boy child? We need to expose him to the realities of life. We need to show him that life um, is, 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 there's no template to life. You have to roll with the punches. There will be disappointments in life. There will be successes in life. There will be failures in life. It's how you handle each situation as it comes, right? I think we've been conditioned to always win in life, that we forget that failure is actually first attempt in learning. It's okay to fail. There's, the, there's a lot of successful businessmen that have shown that it's okay to fail, but you must fail forward and be able to rectify those mistakes. You cannot keep doing the same thing over and over and over and expect a different result. Mm. I think, as I've said, Uti, we need to love them. Yeah. Love them, give them the same opportunities as an individual. Remove gender. If we can love the boys, give them opportunities to become what they want to become, that will be a solution. Um, Titi, before you give us, you know, your details of where mm. people can find you and then also you, mm. um, the importance of partnerships, you know, just to highlight that, and also initiatives that are happening. We've seen not quite a lot, but organizations such as yourselves are at least going out there, you know, trying to make a difference. How important is those partnerships, the interdependency between organizations, government also, you know, in order to address these issues? Because this is a societal issue. Uh, you know, a boy child is part of the community, is part of mm. the country itself. How important is it? It's extremely important to have collaborative partnerships with, with corporate and government purely because those government and corporate institutions have men working for them. So it starts there. If those men can change the way they think, the way they approach things in life, then they become uh, assets to the company. That's, just the, that's where we start. So it also helps them with their bottom line. But in terms of the well-being of, 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 of our society, it's important for us to get more corporates to spend money in these programs, to invest in these programs, government especially, the Department of Social Development, this is social development. You cannot develop uh, the society socially without having the social development participating in those conversations. We need them to support these programs. We need them to give us access to some of the experts that can come in and talk to these men about their wellness. And it starts there. So partnerships are everything. And we are grateful for the, the corporates that have actually taken the lead. In, in, in partnering with, with us. And we hope that more can actually come on board because the reality is that they've got men under their uh, payroll. Mm. Uh, Mpumelelo, where can people find you, you know, if they want to get in touch? No, on all our social media, we call it Boys Mentorship South Africa. Yeah, across all the social media, you'll find us. And then all the details are corner up. Mm. It's Amatama underscore SA. Uh, we are on Facebook and on Instagram. And the reason it's Amatama underscore SA is because we are working on getting into the continent. So there'll be Amatama underscore Nigeria, Amatama underscore Zimbabwe. We really want to, you know, create a, a, a society of good African men. Thank you very much for coming in. Much appreciated. So short. <laughs> 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 no, we'll have, we'll definitely have time there. That was Simpo Melelo Butelezi, who is the founder of the Boys Mentorship South Africa Foundation, as well as T. Timba, uh, who is the founder of Amatama Wellness Network, talking to us about the importance of grooming the boys of our nation, as well as the importance of making men feel that they matter and that they are loved, you know, as to build better and well-equipped society. Well, that's how we wrap it up for today's episode of Sweater Today. Remember, we love hearing from you. So please feel free to talk to us about this episode by simply sending us an email at sowetotoday at sowetotv.co.za. Alternatively, you can call us or WhatsApp us on 081-531-8857. I'm from myself and the rest of the team. Good night and thank you for watching.